Seems like he's coming along all right. Dylan's all right. He just needs to get his fucking shit together, dude. He told me, he tells me this morning, I said, where the fuck you at, dude? It's not three minutes after nine. He's supposed to be here about 8.30. Oh, I forgot my phone at the home. Man, fuck that phone, dude. You don't need that fucking phone. Yeah, I know how yeah. that is, man. Him and that fucking phone, dude. You know how yeah, kids are. Those phones. All right, let me ask you a question, Jerry. Uh, your car's on its way here. Yeah, he just left, man. Sixty-nine. Be tomorrow, a peak. Okay, sixty-nine Chevelle. What time's he gonna be here, bud? Uh, he didn't say for sure, man. As we see, Tom's Chevelle showed up just fine. It's a nice Chevelle. I don't know why he's painting it Chevelle, but uh, he wants to completely redo this whole car. And uh, when it quits raining outside, we will get a good look at it. We'll let him get it unloaded, and then later on we will check this out and see what the situation is with Alabama Tom's car and uh, what the fuck we're going to do to it and why he brought it all the way up here to my friend Pete's. What are we going to do to it, dude? Let's lay it down real quick. Well, I uh, want a good job on it, man. A good paint job, but uh, I bought some inner finish for it. That are, you know, the ones that are on there now are plastic. All the weather stripping on around the doors and, the, you know, the roof rail, that, that's all dry. I did replace the trunk weather strip myself. It should be okay. Trunk weather strip? Yeah. Oh, uh, if we have to repaint it, dude, we'll have to remove all that, Jerry. But that's good. That's good, yeah, because job I did, it's just there, man. But, it, yeah, I got a little sloppy with it, man. I mean, if you want a professional job, dude, we're going to have to remove all the weather strip paint. Yeah, that's good. That's you know. good, yeah. We'll go ahead and replace that, too. What color are we going to paint it, dude? We're going to go back with that same LeMond's blue, man. All right, what's your full name, Jerry? What's your full name, bud? Yeah, yeah, Tom, Tom Carter. Oh, Tom. Why am I calling you fucking Jerry? What the fuck's going on with that, I Tom? I don't know. Joe and Jerry, it's all right. <laughs> all right. Okay, Tom and Jerry show, yeah. Tom, okay, Tom <laughs> Carter. Tom and Mary's cleaners are at work. Yeah, Tom so Carter, Tom okay. All right, Tommy, you got a, a 1969 Chevelle. Yeah, two-door hardtop. Okay, two-door hardtop. I'll tell you what, let me give you a call right when he gets here. We'll check it all out, do a walk around, see what the fuck's going on, okay? Okay, that sounds good, Pete. All right, well, let, let me tell you what, bud. Let me let you go. Uh, Clown940 just walked in, and uh, okay. we'll see what we can do for you, dude, okay? Okay, you guys take care, man. I'll call you tomorrow, bud. Okay, bud. All right. No, you went to Waffle House this morning? Yeah, I did. And you didn't come over and get my friend Pete first? No. What the fuck, dude? It's on the way to work. No, it That's looks to me I... like you just fucking woke up. You're looking like you got fucking bedroom eyes there, dude. Little baby bedroom eyes. Just woke up, little sparkle going on. Hey, I know what I did. Matter of fact, dude, you didn't even get all you, you didn't even get all the sleep shit. sand out of your eyes. There's fuck still it. some in the corner there, dude. And then you had to go all the way home to get your fucking phone? Yeah, I did. I got shit, I got a fucking Like what? Too. What do you got to do? Too. What you do you got to do? I got legal shit to fucking take care of. That's more Oh, okay. Than That's a good excuse today. Yeah. To have yeah. your phone. Yeah, good excuse, right. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. We'll be back when the car gets here. And hopefully, uh, Clown 940 there will get his fucking act together and start being on time. Because now, you've been here a month. Oh, you're raising your hand? Do you want to say something? No, dude. They said 9. Are you raising your hand? What's up to the camera, man? You're 940, Clown 940. That's right. He was supposed to be here at eight, uh, 9 o'clock. He usually gets here around 8.30 to get prepped up. Now he's starting to show up at 9.30. Shit ain't fucking looking good, what dude. What time is it right now? Shit ain't fucking... Let me see. What time, what is, time it? is it? Yeah, what time is it? It's 9.27. Okay, how long has your camera been rolling for? Uh, my camera's been rolling for yeah. approximately eight minutes. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so that gives you an excuse because it's eight minutes difference? <laughs> you walked in and it was four fucking minutes running. Oh, dude, I would hate to be late four minutes. That's your... Hey, you're the one losing money, not me, because you ain't signing in until 9.30 today, pal. That's right. You well, you lost two fucking hours yesterday dicking around doing whatever you yeah, had to do exactly. with your fucking that's life. Right. Everyone's got a life, All right. dude. Everyone's got a life. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's got a life, but you know what? Everybody actually has a job too, or that's most right. people. You gotta pay bills. And, and most bosses and don't say. And week, most bosses right? don't say, "Hey, come and go as you want, yeah. and be who yeah. you want to be." And this is just a hangout fucking club when you need to make money. Right. I gotta go. Everybody Take it easy. We'll see you later. Week. And the car will be here. Sixty nine. Chevelle, uh, some kind of fucking blue color. He called it a fancy color blue. To me, it's just a sparkly metallic blue, 1969 blue. But when we see it, we see it. And when it's here, it's here. We'll see you later.
Wake up, okay? Wake the hey, fuck dude, I'm up. I'm wide awake, dude. You can't yeah. wake me up no more than I am now. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Quick walk around to Tom's car all the way from where's this guy from, dude? I don't even know. New Jersey? No, this ain't New Jersey. This is uh South Carolina, dude. All the way from South Carolina, bud. Hang on a minute. Alright, if we're gonna look at this car, what we're looking at is in that camera right there, this car looks really fucking nice. Am I right? That's right. But the situation is. This car has been restored once before. Now come on back here. All right, if you're looking at it like I'm looking at it, the body on this thing is really, really straight, but look at this angle we got here. You can see where this has been painted before. All right, we got the white sticker stripe here that goes all the way down the car. That's a factory situation. We're gonna put those back on. Now when they painted this quarter panel, they went up into the sail panel, which is over here, camera guy, fucking clown hat dude. And I don't know if you can see it, but right in here you can see where the clear is peeling off in this area where my hand is. You can see right there. That's where they blended it up into here and they stopped. And this is starting to peel. If we look back here, look at this glass. You can see where uh, somebody sealed this up. That's showing me a sign that uh, this glass is leaking. And by putting that in there, that silicone up in here and then right here. Look at here how sloppy that is. Okay. You can see right there that... Uh, the glass is going to have to be removed to restore this car. This is where they blend it up into the roof, I guess, or what have you. And uh, basically, they painted this quarter panel to match. So the, the rear end of the car has been painted. We see that. The rear end has been painted. The body is real straight on this. I don't see any major rust in it at all. Okay, we got some brand new fender wheels here. Now, I talked to the owner of the car. His name's Tom. And he wants us to install them new fender wheels. The problem we have. This new fender wells, what the fuck is this? Hold on a minute, dude. Is that a body kit? Yep. That is a body fucking mounting kit here. Now hold on, I didn't hear nothing about mounting the body on the frame. Do you know what kind of job this is put doing that, dude? That's an extreme fucking job, mounting. Hold on, dude. Now we got a situation, see? I thought this was going to be an in and out. Oh, my motherfucker. parts here send them down here this is our soft seal rubber kit all right so I guess we're gonna be replacing 90% there's the felt channels back there in the back this is a real clean car I'm telling you this is one of the cleanest Chevelles I've ever seen in my life this is a normal spot right here where Chevelles rust there's not even any rust on this uh, just minor surface rust wow. now he said this seal was brand new but uh, I told him to paint it right this is gonna have to go I mean, what are we going to say about the car besides it needs a nice, clean, overall overhaul? You see what I'm saying? It's an overall overhaul, bud. If uh, Dylan could take that camera and go down the side there, you can see this is a real, real clean car, and the body is, like, really, really straight. I like the way the gaps end up on the hood here. Look how clean that fits. See what I'm saying? Looks nice and uniform. You're nice and uniform. Now, of course, the chrome, you know, if he wants to re-chrome the bumpers and stuff, we'll get with him. If he wants to do that, that's fine. If he doesn't, I don't care. Now, that, my friend, is a big block. This is a factory big block 396. Do you see what I'm saying? It's even got factory air on it. Uh, this is actually an original, authentic 
big block 396 Chevelle. Now, if you notice here, see how they painted this black on the inside? Okay, do you see what I'm saying? This is black. All right, that's a factory situation. All right, we're gonna go ahead and squirt paint in all the door jams. We're gonna make sure that all this matches. Look what we got here. This is probably the original factory paint. You can see where they taped it off. If you can bring the camera around here, see where they taped that off right there to paint the outside. So I, I'll bet you $100 this is the original paint here. You can see this tape line, looky here. I see that tape line right there? Yep. Okay, so the door jams have never been painted. Uh, this is the original blue that we're looking at right there. And you can see that the interior color uh, matches the interior seat. See how that's darker blue there? And this car is really, really clean and uh, pretty much a rust-free vehicle. Let me look up under this fender well here and see what we got. I don't even know. I don't think these quarter panels have ever been replaced. This is all factory original stuff here. Uh, this is a very, very rare car and it's a very solid car. Now, there is some rust right here. Come on over here. We just found some rust. Uh, we will have to cut that out and fix that. Or prepare it and, yeah, look at there, oh, dude. Yeah. Look what we got. Oh, <laughs> so we do got a, a section. We're going to have to section this baby in right here. Uh, that's not bad, though. That's, that's some rust that has to be repaired. Let's go look at the other side, see what's over there. That one there looks pretty solid. Looks that's a, okay. I don't hear no Bondo. I hear some Bondo up in here. Hear how it sounds dead? Hear that dead noise? Uh -huh. But when you hit here, you hear how it sounds kind of an echoey. So hear the difference? This is Bondo. There's some Bondo in that area right there. It's a nice car. It's a car that's going to be well taken care of when it leaves my friend Pete's. And uh, that's the situation. Give me my fucking camera. Thank you very much, sir. What we got here is a, uh, uh, a early model muscle car Chevelle. Uh, it's a very clean ride. Body panels line up good. I don't even think any of these body panels are aftermarket. I think that the, uh, everything that you're looking at here is factory original. This is a situation that says, hey, I look good, but I want to look better. So Tom has been watching our videos. I've never met this guy uh, in my life. I don't even know what Tom looks like, to be honest with you. He watches SWRNC videos, and he said, you know what? I can get my car painted up here. I can get it painted in South Carolina, but I'm going to take it to my friend Pete and get her done right. What do you think of that? I think it's a situation that says, hey, I look good, but I want to look better. <laughs> Are you fucking joking me, clown hat? Okay, will you get off the sales pitch action there? Get it straight, dude, yeah, all right? It's straight, all right. It's straight. So now that we've done our walk around, let's go ahead and call Tom and go over it with him, see what he wants to do, see where we're at. And uh, it looks like it's an in and out job. Nothing major, nothing disaster. We were talking about stripping it down to bare metal, but you know what? The shape that this car is in, I don't believe that it needs any stripping. And why don't we test that out and just see what we got here. If uh, Dylan could get in the car, and pull it back up here. We're going to take a DA sander to it and see how many layers of paint is on the car. Thank you. What we're going to do just to see what's under this paint. We're going to go ahead and take my DA sander with 180 grit. All right, this is a good situation where you're telling yourself before we give estimates, before we tell people how much money, let's investigate it and see exactly what's under this and see what happens. What we've got here, this is a base coat clear coat paint due to the fact that uh, you're getting a white, uh, a white dust instead of a blue dust. Now once we break through, if you notice, there's not a lot of clear on this because it took very, very split second to bust through that clear. Uh, this might even be possibly a lacquer paint job, to be honest with you. Um, lacquer paint jobs tend to fade out quick and they sand very, very fast. Do you see what I'm saying, bud? <laughs> Right in this area right here, we're starting to notice that there's layers in the paint. Now when I say layers, here's our bare metal, here's the factory primer, and then of course this would be a factory red primer, this would be the sealer right here, that white ring, and then you got the original paint. On top of that, we have another primer on top of that, we got the sealer, paint, and then clear coat. So, as I'm rubbing it, I can see that the layers of the paint on this is very, very thin. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a very thin paint job, and I believe that we don't have to strip this car down to bare metal. Does that make sense to you, uh, uh, Clown 940, Clown Hat guy? And you put it this you way, see what dude. I'm saying? 
I as know, I run my put it this way, dude. I know all about the stripper, dude. All right. Okay, we and, don't want to strip. It can always come back and bite you in your ass. Yeah, it sure does. As I run my hand, I want you to rub your hand across that. Now I use the DA. That's I don't even. I don't even feel any layers in the paint. It da down very, very nice yeah, and smooth. It's pretty nice. Man. Yeah. I'm thinking that we're going to be able to get away on uh, repairing this vehicle by not stripping it down to bare metal. Let's check one more spot on it just to see what we got and where we're at. Okay, if we look right in this area here, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Uh, this is where the paint is fading out, and there's also some uh, discoloration going on. Do you see this right here? Yeah. That's where they blended the paint up here from painting the quarter panels. Let's go ahead and DA that and see what we got there. We can get our DA sander. Okay, what we got here, we got some major body work in this area. This is probably where it's let it in when they restored the car the first time after the original paint job. They went ahead and bonded this up, and uh, we can see that there's a crack right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hairline crack in the bondo. We will have to grind that out and redo that bodywork. But I still notice that rubbing my hand across it, it's very thin and very level to the touch. All right, so the ending story and the conclusion that we come to on our 68, 69s, whatever the fuck Chevelle 96, 396 it is, is that we can paint this car without stripping it to bare metal. But Dylan mentioned a phrase that really falls in this category. It's called biting you in your ass. said biting your ass that means when you strip it down to bare metal he's talking about stripping all the old paint off and finding major disaster bodywork that has to be redone on this particular vehicle I don't think that it needs stripped down but you still might get that situation where it can bite you in your fucking ass if you're not careful on what you do with this to paint this car again without stripping it down means that we have got to use top-notch, high-quality paint supplies. We cannot skim on using half-assed bullshit, and it's got to be done properly, and the car has got to be prepped 100% thoroughly to the fucking minute fucking last sand job to make sure that the paint is properly laid down, primers are used properly so there's no shrinkage or no uh, swell back, you might say it, uh, blistering, this, that, and the other. Painting the car like this without stripping it down is a very, very technical job. You didn't think it would be. You don't think it would be, but it is. We're going to talk to the owner, see what he wants to do. I don't want to strip it down to bare metal. If I strip this car to bare metal, the price went up to probably about $4,000 because once you strip it to bare metal, I believe what uh, Clown Hat was talking about when it bites you in your ass is you got to do all the body work over. Is that what you were talking about? That's right. Or what dude. the fuck are you talking about? That's right, dude. Or are you talking about biting it in your ass by burning your hands while you're stripping it? What the? I'm talking about the body work, dude. Okay. I believe that this does have body work on it. I don't think that it's a Bondo buggy. We're not going to find out because we're not stripping it down, but we are going to hand block this whole fucking car and uh, reprime and get the bitch done. This is Pete, my friend Pete. Let's get in the fucking office. Let's call Tom, see what he wants to do on it, and uh, go from there. 1968, nine, whatever it is, 396 big block, straight out of South Carolina, right here at SWRNC DIY Auto School. You're gonna wanna follow this little fucking video series because I'm gonna take you through the steps of how to restore this paint job back to original without restoring the whole fucking car. Uh, basically, we're gonna do us a in and outer, right? Kinda like burger stuff, in, in and out. out. In and out, okay. jobber. This is gonna be a, a high tech, high class, Earl Shives slash Mako paint job. Forget I said that. There ain't no Earl Shives Mako shit going on over here. We're gonna show you how to do this right without stripping it to bare metal. And we're gonna show you how to make sure that the paint job is high quality, show quality, and it's gonna last for many years to come. We'll see you then. Let's get in there and talk to Tom and see what he says.
won't stop till you know everything. Tech tips make a big, big, big difference. <laughs>